Welcome to the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, your spot for weekly wellness and kettlebell sport performance tips and reviews. And today we're going to review a book called Finding Your Zone, Finding Your Zone by Dr. Michael Larden out of San Diego. This guy actually works with NFL place kickers, he works with PGA golfers, I mean, he works with his clientele are under some tremendous pressure. Like, you get one shot to keep your job, and then that's it, right? So that's some serious, serious pressure. You know, in kettlebell sport, we get, we get that chance to do another repetition, right? If we, we have a moment where we're unsettled, maybe in the first minute or the second minute, we have eight or nine minutes left to actually kind of get back into our zone and perform well. But this guy's working with people that have one shot to get it right. So this is a man that you can actually learn a lot from. I read this book a few times, super solid, uh, highly recommended. And uh, shirt shout out, the week's gonna go to Will Parker, all right, at Geary Garage, boom, out in Richmond, Virginia. Solid guy, really, really smart trainer. He's also a kettlebell sport coach and kettlebell sport athlete. So if you're out in Richmond, Virginia, stop by, his garage, the Geary Garage, do a little lifting with him and, and absorb some of his great energy, all right? Now, this book, I've, uh, I've really kind of gone through it a few times and highlighted the crap out of it, so I'll take these, and I recommend you picking it up as well. I'll throw a link from Amazon uh, down below the video so that you can pick one up yourself. And uh, but super, super solid, really, really great tips in here. Um, how can we learn to manage intense stress so that our brain is free to do its thing? It's a delicate balance between conscious effort and innate reflective trust, right? So it says, uh, often during tournament competition, professional golfers stress out, pressing to make birdies so that they can make the cut and play over the weekend. But in doing so, they ever so subtly change the rhythm of their swing and timing of their pre-shot routine. They stop doing what they already know how to do and unknowingly start a destructive self-perpetuating cycle, right? And that's not cool. So what he's talking about is basically they already know what to do, they do it all the time, they train all the time, they play all the time, just like in kettlebell sport. We already know what warm-ups work best for us, right? We already know what is going to work really well for us. We do it all the time in training. But sometimes when you walk into a competition, everyone's around, you know, it's hot, the energy is crazy, your anxiety is kind of going, and you're looking around at other people and you're seeing them, you know, oh man, you know, wow, maybe I should do five more reps because so-and-so did five more reps or, or this woman over there, man, you know, she, she went one arm and two arm, warm up even though she's gonna compete with just one arm, whatever it may be, right? Don't change your style. Don't change your style of warm up. Do exactly what you're comfortable in doing. Do exactly what you know how to do because you know it works. When you're able to do that, you stay dialed and then you know it's routine. You're comfortable with it in your gym, at home, in your basement, in your garage, whatever, do the same thing when you're warming up actually before a competition, right? So that's kind of a little golden nugget I got from this book. Uh, also too, the, uh, this is the book that I learned about process orientation versus goal orientation or time or uh, finish line uh, orientation, right? So the process orientation is focusing on the process at hand. I know when uh, when my, uh, <clears throat> my sports psychologist was here, she was talking about it as well, but you focus, boom, you focus on the intrinsic, right? What you can control. So it's really, really an important thing. So when you focus on the process, say in kettlebell sport, you're focusing on maybe every 30 seconds on the clock instead of worrying about, oh man, I have you know, seven more minutes left or whatever it is. Or you're just focusing on uh, some cue words, right? My cue words, right? Earth, when I clean, and the sky, when I jerk overhead, right? So those little things are very simple. We can kind of focus on those and just 
or up, down, up, down, whatever it may be, right? Focusing on the checkpoints of your technique that Dennis Vasiliev talks about. But uh, it's important. It's important to kind of stay intrinsic like that. But what I learned at first, you know, through, uh, through this book, Finding Your Zone. So I highly recommend it, guys. Pick it up, check it out. And as you can see, there's just, there's a ton of uh, stuff highlighted in here. So good golden nuggets from this book for sure. Finding Your Zone. All right. I'm Jason Dolby. And this has been the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog. Get some! Boom! Alright guys, we'll see you next time.